Hey, are you stuck in the drama cycle? Are you stuck in the drama cycle? That is the topic of today's tip. And the reason I want to share this is because I know this is typically uh, about business tips and how to improve and grow your business. But I've seen a pattern across this week uh, and, of course, over a longer period of time, uh, how many of my clients are actually finding themselves in a position where their growth in their business is kind of hitting a wall and they're stuck. Not because their ability with business or their ability with strategy or not because of what's going on in the market out there, but actually because what's going on in their relationships, either personally or professionally. You know, sometimes someone's personal relationship can be impacting them so much that it's stopping their focus on the business. Or sometimes the professional relationships with your customers, your suppliers, your staff, uh, they're also stuck. Now, what typically happens, like the, the topic of today's show then is called the drama cycle. And typically things can get stuck uh, because we play these three different roles. So within the drama cycle, you'll recognize this, there's frequently someone who is the victim. They are the person who is having something done to them. Okay, is like, you may hear the term like, woe is me, like everything is, is bad, that person has done something to me. Okay, now, what, what needs to exist for there to be a victim, there needs to be a persecutor, there needs to be someone who is doing something to them. Now, a victim will uh, frequently seek this out or find this. If there's nothing going on in their life, they'll go and find someone who they can blame uh, for, for their problems. Now, of course, the persecutor is someone who also likes to blame, but likes to take that superior or that authoritative position and say, it's all your fault, victim, it's all your fault. And so they meet their needs. All of these positions are meeting their needs. The persecutor is meeting their needs uh, by telling the victim it's your fault, like you've done it wrong, okay? And then they feel important or superior. Now, of course, in this mix, then there needs to be to keep the drama cycle or the drama triangle going, there needs to be a rescuer, someone who swoops in and saves the day. Now, as you can imagine, if someone swoops in and saves the day, that's gonna meet their needs because they're gonna feel great. Now, typically, when someone swoops in and rescues, is because if they're focusing over here on this person's problems, then their own anxieties or insecurities, that well, they're, they're not quite as bad because the focus is off of them and it's onto their person. So the, the cycle can continue and this problem can continue in relationships uh, you, because the rescuer gets its needs met by helping the victim. The victim gets his needs met by you know having someone persecute and the persecutor kind of feels strong and powerful because of this. So this is dynamic and this interplay. Now, it's not a static position. Someone who is a victim can switch to be the rescuer or the persecutor. It, like, it can move around and around. And frequently uh, in relationships, we can swap backwards and forwards between these different different roles. Um, frequently, there's a bit of a codependency here in, in relationships. If you are the victim and you have someone to swoop to your rescue or you're the rescuer and you have someone to save, then it, it really helps maintain the relationship. Now, why is this a bad thing? Of course, it's a bad thing because if you're finding that you're not able to move forwards in your business or you're stuck in your relationship, it, it grinds everything to halt. It slows everything down. And so what I wanted to talk about is well, what, what can we do about this? What are the things that we can do to shift and change this pattern? Now, if you really get this and apply this to your relationships, it will change everything. I've had clients who have turned uh, relationships around, businesses around, because they break this pattern of drama and they get the drama out of their life. Um, one of the interviews I did with a great guy, Kirk Ashley, you should listen to that episode, I'll put it in the link below. He speaks about this, he says that we get stuck on our drama glue, we get stuck on that and we wanna stay there because it, it fills our needs in some way. So. What I want to share with you is how do we break that drama glue? How do we break that drama cycle and actually get on and do things so you can build your business? So number one is if you feel like you're in that position of being a victim, you feel like things are being done to you and there's always someone kind of doing something to you, then your opportunity is to accept your vulnerability, accept where you're not maybe uh, as strong or as able as you'd like to be and your mission, rather than going to seek help from someone else, rather than seeking some external party to go and save the day or, or make things better for you, the question is, how can you solve that problem for yourself? What can you do to shift the problem for yourself so that you're not being a victim? If you happen to be the persecutor, you're the someone who is um, you know, uh, kind of punishing or blaming someone else, Maybe your opportunity, if you find yourself ever in that position, maybe your opportunity is to start to ask for what you want. Like begin to assert 
yourself for, for the things that you want or you need in your life, but don't punish. This isn't about punishing the person. If you happen to be the rescuer, I can relate to this one the most. I, I In my life, I've certainly been in a position where I can rescue. It feels great. If I can swoop in and help someone or save the day, uh, then of course, it, that feels good. Now, for me, what I've had to learn over, over the years around this is, of course, be concerned for what's going on for another person. Like if you really care, like I do about how other person is, like really, do care, but don't necessarily jump in and problem solve for them. In, in, enable them to resolve the problem or the issue for themselves. Um, now, how can you do that? I guess there's some powerful ways you can begin to ask some questions that, en that enables them. Sometimes if you jump in and resolve something for someone, it's actually more disempowering to them. Actually ask them some questions. Hey, what can you do about this? How can you resolve this? What would change this situation for you? Okay, so uh, there's some examples. Now, out of all three of these positions and the victim, the persecutor and the rescuer, the really the very best way to get out of this drama cycle and resolve the issue and get on with building your business is to take a position of an observer. Someone who kind of sits above the situation and steps out of the situation. Right. If you want, if it helps you, with a metaphor, imagine you can go from this current situation that you're in and you're on the moon and you look back at the situation from as far away as the moon. Now, of course, up there, these the problems and the issues of the drama looks very different from that distance. And then if you're in that position and you're not then emotionally attached to what's going on, you'll be able to ask those questions. What can I do differently? How can I be more empowered in this situation? OK, so from an observer position, you could begin to see it a little bit more detached from the drama. So uh, here is your opportunity, should you choose to accept it, which is if you have a relationship or a situation or there's a drama or a friction or something going on, stand back and understand which position am I playing right now? Do you always play that position? And once you're clear on that, ask yourself those questions. If you're the victim, work out how you can resolve this problem for yourself rather than going to an outside source. If you're the persecutor, work out how you can ask for what you want and not punish someone or blame someone or uh, beat them up for that. And if you're the rescuer, of course, um, see how you can empower that person to resolve their own problem. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I have nothing else to say on the topic. I hope that serves you well. If you have any questions on it, please feel, feel free to, uh, to message me on it. And if you found this valuable for you in some way, which I, I know so many of my clients, is, it's changed their reality, it's changed their relationships, it's changed their business. Um, if you found it useful, then please just share it. Like, let someone else see it. I'd, I'd love for this to make a difference in someone else's life. Have yourself a drama-free week, weekend, month, and I will catch you tomorrow.